implementing the decorator pattern is really easy. It's kind of similar to implementing the adapter pattern. The difference between these two patterns is that with the adapter pattern, we change the interface of a class to a different form. In contrast, with the decorator pattern, we add additional behavior to an object. In both these patterns, in both these implementations, we use composition. So let's start off by adding a new interface called stream. This is where we declare the operations that all types of streams should support. So that is our write operation that takes a string. Now, we go to our cloud stream class and have this class implement the stream interface. So this is a very basic, concrete implementation of this interface. Now we should create our decorators, classes that are gonna add additional behavior to this write operation. So one of them is compressed cloud stream. So instead of using inheritance, instead of having this class extend another class, we're gonna use composition. So first we should have this class implement the stream interface because all streams should have the same interface. Now we should declare a private field of type stream and initialize this field using a constructor. So there you go. Now in our write method, instead of calling the write method of the base class, we're gonna call the write method of this stream object. So we call stream.write. This is where we're using composition. So in this class, we don't care what that stream object is because we're talking to the stream interface. We could pass a cloud stream object. That is our implementation that stores data in plain text, or we could pass an encrypted stream. I'll show you how this works in a second. So let's quickly implement the other decorator. That is our encrypted cloud stream class. Once again, we should remove the inheritance relationship and have this class implement the stream interface. Next, we declare a private field of type stream and initialize it using a constructor. And finally, in the write method, we're gonna call the write method of our stream object. Now, we no longer need this compressed and encrypted cloud stream class. This is really ugly. So let's get rid of it. Beautiful. Now let's see how we can bring all of these classes together. So we go to our main method. Let's say somewhere in our application, we wanna store someone's credit card in the cloud. So I'm gonna add a new method, public static void store credit card, which takes a stream object. And this is the stream that we just created. Now here we can call stream.write and pass an imaginary credit card number. Now, in our main method, we can call our new method and pass a new cloud stream object. When we run this program, we can see that our credit card gets stored as plain text. Now, this is where we can use the decorator pattern. So we can wrap this object, we can decorate it with an encrypted cloud stream. So we pass a new encrypted cloud stream. And look, the constructor of this class expects a stream object. So we can pass this cloud stream to the constructor of the encrypted cloud stream. So we are wrapping or decorating this cloud stream with an encrypted cloud stream. Now, when we run this program, you can see our credit card gets stored as encrypted. We can also use our compressed cloud stream. Take a look. So we're wrapping or decorating this with a different decorator. This will change how the write operation behaves. Now we can also apply multiple decorators to an object. For example, first we can compress our data and then we can encrypt it. So here I'm gonna pass a new encrypted cloud stream. Here we should pass a stream object. So because this compressed cloud stream implements the stream interface, we can pass that over here. So let me cut this expression and pass it over here. See what we have done? We have a cloud stream object. We have decorated it 
with a compressed cloud stream, and we have decorated the result with an encrypted cloud stream. We're adding behavior to an object dynamically. This is the beauty of the decorator pattern. Now, what is important is that none of this is visible to this method. All this method needs is a stream object. It's talking to an interface. It doesn't care what type of stream we pass here. We can pass a stream for storing plain text data, or we can pass a decorated stream that compresses the data before storing it in the cloud. All of this is transparent or invisible to this method. 